Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. So friends, in today's video, I will show you how to apply for Turkish Diyanat Foundation Scholarship full application procedure, full application guys, step by step. So if you want to know about uh, application process of Turkish Diyanat Foundation Scholarships, so keep watching the video until end and uh, please like the video, share with your friends. Um, and uh, if you are new on my channel, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notification of all my videos. And you can follow me on Instagram by profile link is in the description. And um, uh, my username is Shamsamdarwan. So let's start it. First of all, we have to enter the official uh, website link. I will also put the website link in the description so you can enter the website of the Anad Borsalari Scholarship from there. But uh, if you don't know, so then you have to enter the uh, Anad Borsalari dot t d v dot o r g this is the official um, link of the dianat burslari scholarship so then we have to enter the uh, official website of the dianat burslari so um, before starting uh, you have to select the language from there so in which language you have you want to start your application as you are seeing if you want to start in uh, Arabic um, or uh, in English or Turkish, so you can start it from there. So we already selected English. First of all, there are the scholarships that you want to apply for. Like first of all, there is International Theology Undergraduate Program, which is basically for undergraduate in high school. These are the mainly uh, focused uh, scholarships uh, of the Anath, uh, but uh, some there are also International Theology Graduate Scholarship Program. Um, academy like theology academy scholarship program and all of these but the mainly it's for undergraduate pro program uh, uh, in the high school and uh, we will proceed from with undergraduate in today's video but uh, you can uh, all the procedures same but there will be a little bit difference between high school in high school you have to put uh, your middle school uh, numbers and uh, undergraduate you have to put your high school uh, uh, transcript our numbers uh, there but uh, the procedure will be same and there will be not that much difference so you can like if you want to apply for high school or undergraduate so you can watch this video you can uh, get information from this video uh, there is the introduction guide to select language so you can uh, there is the, the application condition if you want to know in turkish english arabic french or russian for you so let's start with uh, english there is the application uh, uh, condition condition of application you have to read this uh, and if you are meeting these um, conditions so then you can start your application if you you are not eligible so then you cannot apply for this scholarship first of all which parts are um, uh, important and which um, conditions are important first of all first is not to be a citizen of republic of turkey this is the first uh, condition second uh, those who are turkish citizens are lost basically this is uh, those um, uh, are lost turkish citizens are uh, for any reason cannot apply to international islamic studies scholarship program and third is to be born not earlier than 1 1 2000 so basically your maximum age will be 21 you must have to be under 21 if you are 22 23 so then you cannot apply for uh, undergraduate program Fourth is not to have any mental or physical health problem, problem and uh, obstacle to study in Turkey. So you have to be fit or you don't have to be any kind of mental problems and uh, any kind of physical health problems. And fifth, to graduate from a high school equivalent to grade 12 in Turkey uh, with that uh, least with at least uh, a good degree 70 percentage. Like uh, your um, your school high school percentage must be uh, seventy. Yeah, and the minimum uh, uh, percentage is seventy. If you are sixty nine or sixty eight, so then you cannot apply or under seventy. And six is not having a repeater or suspended from the school more than two years without a valid excuse for after completing the high school. And seven is not to be penalized for any disciplinary action during his education in his country. It is those who are. Um, while previously Turkish uh, religious foundation students, she uh, or he studying at any educational level can apply if he uh, his her scholarship has not ended by the foundation. And nine, those who are currently studying in Turkey cannot apply for a Turkish Diyanat Foundation Islamic Studies Scholarship Program. So these are the conditions. If you are uh, eligible and you are um, like... Uh, completing this criteria so then you can uh, apply for this if you are, uh, uh, are eligible for this scholarship so then you have to click on apply now 
after clicking on apply now so it will show this kind of surface for you so directly now start with your email or password first of all you have to activate or you have to register your email you have to register uh, your information from there so from there you have to select uh, sign up uh, uh, as here you are seeing email activation or sign up so you have to click on sign up after clicking on sign up uh, um, it will show this kind of uh, basic information surface for you guys first of all you have to select your nationality for example i'm selecting afghanistan after that your identity card number uh, so you have to uh, write your identity identity card number for example i'm writing 12 34 56 uh, 78 3 this is for example just for example i am writing there and uh, after that you have to write uh, your name if you have second name or middle name you can write it from there if you don't have just skip it and just write your short name or surname or last name you can write and uh, then you have to select your gender male female from there after that the birth date you have to select the birth date from there for example, I am selecting 2000 June 15. After that, you have to select the birth country. For example, Afghanistan, and uh, you have to select. You have to write the country, the city that you have birth there. For example, I am writing Nangarhar, and there is the city. For example. So you have sometimes it shows problems. Uh, it uh, didn't show your city, so you have to wait. Uh, sometimes it will be the connection problem for you, but it will work for you. And then you have to write your email. That email that you want to register and you want to ap um, apply with, or you want to continue your application with that. After writing your email. Or your gmail then you have to uh, select the phone number and you have to select your country so it will show your country code as you are seeing now so then I will write uh, 56 98 7 for example this and then there you have to select the secret question uh, so now you will think uh, why this uh, secret question is what wh for what this uh, secret question is so basically this secret question is uh, when you are uh, not remembering, remembering sometimes uh, you lost your password or um, you are not remembering, remembering your password so you are facing the problem uh, entering to your application so then they will ask from you this secret question if you are answering right so then uh, you can enter your um, application very easily so for example I am uh, selecting which city were you born in and then you can give the hint answer from there as you are seeing i will give none as my city name is nangar harsh so uh, i will give uh, the first three letter of my city as a hint you can use anything you can write full name or you can uh, do anything from there after that you have to write password and write the password that is uh, like uh, not weak uh, from week I mean that uh, it must have the capital letters it must have the spacing and must have the numbers So if you if sometimes you are not using that so then it will show the problem after that when you put all the information You have to ensure that information is uh, correct and uh, when you see the information is correct There is two options like I have read and I stored all information. I confirmed that my information is correct So if you select on this after that you have to click on this I have read and uh, accepted the privacy policy when you select on this so then the uh, register will show up for you and then just click on register when you click on register uh, so then uh, our application is uh, like uh, successfully registered and uh, now you can uh, log in like uh, there is uh, the message that your registration has been successfully completed there thank you for choosing this scholarship we have sent you an activation email to activate your account please complete your activation by first going to your email so now i will go i will go to my email from there i will go to my email and i will check that i got my confirmation email 
when you came here then you can as you are seeing i got uh, turkey from the email from the anad burslari you have to enter and there is the um, confirmation that this email is sent you to verify your email so you have to uh, verify your email but uh, your your user account has been successfully created thank you for choosing the anad scholarships please be sure to read the application manual for more accurate and faster completion of your application and please click on the link below to complete your registration process and confirm your email address so uh, you can uh, click on confirm you can click on this link so uh, to uh, confirm your uh, email so then we have to click we will click on confirm after uh, click on confirm as you are seeing they are showing that your email address is successfully confirmed so now uh, our email is confirmed so um, then you have to put that password that you have used in the registration and uh, you can uh, proceed with your application and when you use that then you can log in So when you log in, uh, so this is the basic surface that you will see. There is international high school program, also theology program, and uh, Happy's Project School Pro Scholarship program. So these are the um, programs that you can apply for. First of all, uh, for starting uh, from there, you can select your profile picture. So you can change your password from there anytime. You can uh, select. Uh, the profile picture from there by clicking this like for example when you are clicking this then select the choose choose your uh, profile picture from there and then you can save it and you can change the password anytime you can log out from there anytime and um, basically so first of all uh, you are this is the main menu and then uh, we will start with my profile information In my profile information, um, like as you are seeing, our first name and last name or surname is already written there. If you have a middle name, second name, you can write it from there. Then our nationality, birth country, birth city, birth date, gender, and uh, then uh, you can select from martial status from there. Uh, like as, uh, as you are seeing, for example, I will select single. After that, um, uh, any religion that um, you are belonging to, for example, I'm belonging to Islam and uh, in Islam uh, from which uh, part you are Ahmadiyya, Shia or Sunni, for example, Sunni, after the ethnicity uh, from which this ethnicity you are, so you can select that one. For example, I am selecting um, Pashtun, so I'm my, this is my ethnicity, so you can select and then you can uh, save it. After clicking on save, uh, you will receive that your information successfully saved. And uh, there is uh, another, uh, you have, if you have a CV or a curriculum vitae, so by clicking this, uh, you can uh, upload your CV from there. After that, uh, your identity information, so you have to click on identity information. In identity information you have to select if you have identity or password if you have identity card so you can you have to select identity card if you have passport so you have to select your passport and uh, there you have to select um, like for example if you select uh, identity so then uh, you can select identity type which kind of identity you have if you select passport or driving license so basically you can select the identity and passport and um, there is also driving license you can uh, add from there after that your identity or password number you can put it there and uh, uh, you can put uh, the um, uh, document from there your passport identity uh, document uh, so you can selecting by this um, you can put your document for example as uh, i will show you now when you click on this so there you can browse from there and you can select your file from there and when you select it then save it 
after um, uploading your uh, identity information so then uh, you have to if you have social media and uh, if you want to upload it so you can upload your uh, facebook instagram linkedin whatsapp twitter any id you want for example if you want instagram so then you have to select instagram and you, you have to put your url or a profile link from there if you want to facebook or any kind of so then when you select it then save it after my profile information uh, have done so then you have to come to your family information in uh, family information um, you have to select add, uh, add new information from there when you select on add new information you will see this kind of surface first of all there is family degree if you want to give information about your mother father sibling partner me and about yourself so these are the five uh, um, uh, categories that you can uh, add for example if you want to give information about father so you have to select father and father first name last name birth date education level so you can select uh, from there after money monthly income you can select monthly income for example from thousand to five uh, fifteen hundred then you can select the usd euro that uh, from what's your money type so usd euro turkish lira so you can select from there um and there is also um, um you can select is living in turkey if uh, someone like if your family member is living your father is living in turkey so you can select this if not so don't select this don't select this and if your brother or sibling or you are like uh, your partner as you are seeing from there have gotten Tur uh, turkish dianat scholarships so you can select from there if they didn't so don't select this one this is basically um, if your family member or someone is living in Turkey or when you give like if your father is living in Turkey you give information about your father so then you have to select this uh, option and uh, for example if sometimes you select a sibling if your brother or someone is living in Turkey or uh, he got the uh, Diana scholarship so then you have to select from there but um, commonly if someone didn't so you don't select these uh, options um, like you have to give information about your mother father sibling you are about yourself and uh, about your partner uh, and uh, when you give all these information after that uh, just click on save and save it after the, like basically you are seeing uh, there is five entries if you want to give more entries about your more siblings about uh, about your um, uh, if you have uh, if you want to give information about uh, another siblings that uh, so you can select 10 entries so then you can select 10 times from there but basically uh, uh, it shows five times five uh, uh, siblings are father mother sibling about yourself and you are about your partner after saving this uh, option uh, then you have to select uh, your contact information you have to add your contact information so click on, on create new uh, contact contact so about yourself um, and then after that uh, family selected and uh, your phone number is already there uh, if you want to select another phone if you want second phone number so then uh, you have to select for example uh, select uh, your country code and then after that try to your um, Inform about your information if you want to get a notification from, from that mobile so you have to select from that also from that mobile phone number so you can select select send notification mobile phone so then you will get after that home phone number um, like you have to add your home phone number from there uh, your country after that the home phone number email address is there if you want to select if you want to put another email address so you can use another email address from there after that country um, if you want to um, uh, select uh, the country from, from there in uh, which country you are living so you have to select from there if you are from uh, living in another country so you can select it your current information your current address is uh, selected from here as you are seeing these are the uh, stars so these means that you have to fill these um, blanks uh, this is mandatory so if these uh, stars are not some places like an email in second email there is not star so if you didn't put the second email so this is not mandatory you can skip these uh, these blanks but these blanks are not skippable from there you have to select your country of residence and uh, there you have to select city 
and then uh, you have to uh, write full address after that postal code and uh, from which date you started here living and uh, from in date if you have um, gone from that uh, place so you can select from there if you are living now so you can select uh, you can write that i am living here as until now and after that putting all information just uh, click on save and uh, it will be saved after that about your work experience you have to give information about your work experience So this in this part you have to give information about your work experience, about your social activities, about your certificates, about your voluntary activities. So uh, you have to click on create new work experience. After uh, selecting on create new work experience you have to select a uh, work type like uh, you have done part-time job full-time job or uh, temporary or periodic or project based uh, in turn so you can select uh, from there any kind of job you have done or you are doing now so you can select from there but before there is also an option work uh, continuous status that you are working now not working or retired so you can select from there after that the city that you are working there and work experience start date work experience in date after that uh, work experience description from there you have to give a description you have to give explanation about your work after that your profession in which uh, what uh, what's your profession or what's your field you are a doctor pharmacist dentist or uh, eco electrician economist judge nurse anything you can uh, find any uh, profession from there after that uh, your title your profession title or business title from there and by clicking this you can upload your work experience certificate uh, by clicking this you can add it when you uh, give all information then uh, you have to select uh, as you as i have mentioned before the star uh, the, the the blanks which have the star so that is required fill you have you are um, uh, you have to fill the that blanks and that's mandatory if uh, the star that um, uh, blanks who that have not the star so if you skip it so there will be no problem so after that when you are filling uh, when you fill all the blanks so then you can save it so from there you can select uh, multiple work experience certificates or information about your if you have certificates so you can upload it from there if you have uh, multiple work experience information so by clicking this you can uh, select from there you can select five entries uh, you can select 10 entries from there after that your health information in health information uh, when you came here you have to select on cre create new health from there uh, you have to select in life that you are living mm, uh, from there if you have any kind of disability you have to select it from there like uh, language and speech impairment uh, vision loss or blindness hearing loss or deafness orthopedic disability mental and emotional disability chronic uh, discomfort mentally uh, handicapped or uh, not if you are if you don't have any disability and you are uh, all right so then uh, just select not disabled and uh, uh, if you have another kind of any disease so you can select other but if you don't have just select uh, not disabled after that if you have to select your blood group if you don't know so you can skip this um, uh, part also so uh, when you select any kind of you have, if you have any kind of disease you can select from there in a, is disease so then you have to select uh, and then you have to give information about that disease if you don't have so you you are not um, mm, uh, you don't need to write anything and then save it you can uh, create new health you can um, like uh, every part have five or ten entries so you can select this place for five or ten times so you, you can give information about that after that uh, your country experience 
so from there uh, you can select uh, the countries that you live there for example um, your countries uh, uh, um, Afghanistan like for example my country is Afghanistan so for the for that uh, if you lived in another country like I lived in uh, I will select uh, Germany from there and uh, what's your uh, living reason what were your reason that you lived there uh, you visited or you are tourist or education work academic visit official visit residence or uh, relative visit or other you can select from there after that you can give description about uh, that uh, living and then save it so from there you can select multiple countries that you visited if you visit five countries so you can put five countries information there if you want you can put one country information if you don't have so you can you can skip this um, part also so this is not mandatory after that uh, your work inform your education information you have to select on your education information so in this part um, those uh, friends who are applying for uh, high school so you, they have to put their high, secondary school information and those who are applying for um, uh, undergraduate program so then uh, they have to put the high school information from there so then you have to select yes and you will enter to the this field so first you have to select your education status if you are graduated from high school so select graduated if you are continuous so you have to select continuous from there basically the the benefit of continuous is this if some friends are graduated from high school but they didn't get their diploma but they have their transcript and they didn't get their diploma so they can select the continuous and just upload their uh, transcript but uh, if you select graduate and you don't have diploma so then it will cause a little bit problem but if you have if you have graduated and you don't have the diploma you just have the transcript so then you can select uh, easily from there continuous and you can just select your diploma your uh, uh, transcript from there for example i select graduated after that education country select you have to select uh, the country that you get education from there after that um, uh, city you have to select from there uh, institution you have to select your high school uh, from there um, then uh, terms select from your GPA or your high school percentage you can select it's by system every country have the system for example um, for GPA of 4 from 4 from 5 from 6 from 10 20 or 100 for example I will select 100 after that you can select uh, the numbers from there like um, 80 point, 85 point uh, 28 you can select your uh, high school percentage from there then you have to select your start date when you have started your high school and when you end it and from there and then you have to upload your uh, diploma you can select on this and you can upload your diploma and you can also upload your transcript from there as you are seeing when you selecting uh, continuous so then you can you are just mandatory to upload your transcript but uh, if you select graduate it so then it will um, also need a diploma and transcript so this is uh, also the part that you have to know if you have uh, received uh, or you have achieved any significant um, uh, rank so then you can select one there do you have any achievement in any field so if you have any achievement and this achievement is on uh, high school behalf of high school or it was competition project exam so for example if you are selecting school so then uh, which uh, position you if you get first uh, second third positions can you can select from there and then you can give description or uh, explanation about that if you don't so just didn't select this one and skip this one after that just save it after education information uh, we will come to language information In uh, language information, you can select your uh, native language or mother language. You can select foreign language that you know. For example, you have to select on create new language information. 
when you select this part first of all um, first you have to select your mother language from there so just click on mother language and then language um, uh, what's your mother language you can select from there there are a lot of language uh, so you can select your mother language from there after that uh, language level how uh, like uh, is it advanced your mother language is that you know it is advanced intermediate elementary or upper intermediate and then reading level of your mother language writing level uh, and uh, speaking level of your mother language after that uh, how you learn this language by yourself uh, you went to course or school from here you learn mother language like mo most of us we learn by ourselves because our mother language but maybe there will be some people that uh, they don't know their mother language because of their they lived in another countries maybe sometimes it can happen we cannot say so they can select that from where they can they learn from course school but um, mainly we will select me, myself but because uh, any one of us we just select and we learn our mother language by ourselves and when you add information just uh, save it after saving when you, you have to uh, click uh, on this option and it will show this kind of information for the second time then you have to select the foreign language after the foreign language uh, you have to select the foreign language that you know which language for example i will select uh, uh, english so now you have to select that how what's your language um, english language uh, is it in uh, advanced intermediate or elementary for example advanced then you have to select the reading level of english uh, speaking level and writing level and from here you learn english language by yourself from course or school and uh, after that you have to give um, um, information about the learning company name from which course you learn or from which school you learn so you have to you have you have to write the name of that course or the school uh, when you select this one and then save it so then after that there is also another option certificate information when you give when you uh, select english so if you have uh, any kind of certificates like ielts toefl or another english proficiency certificates or another language certificate so you can select this option if you don't have so don't select this option but this uh, field is mandatory you have to fill you have to upload your english proficiency certificate because you as you are seeing but if you don't have um, uh, information uh, so you can don't you cannot select this option but if you have certificate so then select the certificate from there so certificate that in which date you got this certificate so you have to select it from there and after that uh, you can uh, upload that document by clicking this option and then you can save it you can from there you can uh, upload the uh, multiple language certificates or multiple you can upload the mul multiple language information just clicking from this as i mentioned before you can select 10 you have, then you will have 10 entry so you can select 10 times this option when you select uh, when you give the information about language then uh, there will be option about activity information so in activity information you have to give uh, if you got certificate award projects uh, social activities voluntary activities any kind of uh, activities that you have done before so you have to give information about that So, um, by clicking this option, first of all, you have to select activity category. If you got award, project, certificate, voluntary activities, so you can select any one of them. You can select multiple times, as I mentioned before for you guys. You have a chance to select 10 times if you have 10 um, award, project, certificate or voluntary activities. So by clicking one of them and then giving about uh, information about that. For example, I will select certificate. So then you have to get uh, information from where you get this certificate from seminar, camp, uh, grip or symposium, anything you want. So activity area you can select from there. Uh, then you can select uh, activity name, company name from there or institution name, place. You can select the, the place from there, then the country, from which country you get the certificate from uh, like, uh, then you have to write the city. 
and start date in date of this uh, certificate or description then you can upload their certificate after that if you got uh, if you done any voluntary activity so you can select it uh, same procedure for a project also same procedure from where you got it and you can upload the document from there and then uh, just uh, simply click on the save and it will be saved so you can um, just click on this you can upload multiple certificates or multiple information about your voluntary about project certificate or social activities after that this is student bank this uh, like as you are seeing these options are mandatory like uh, the crossing uh, like my working the work experience if you don't have so you can apply you can proceed your application your activity activity information like uh, certificates in project if you don't have so you can uh, and student bank this is also not important my student scholarship this is also not important but i will show you guys the how to fill these problems so after uh, activity information to so we'll click on student bank So if you have bank account, so you can upload your information about your bank account. But this is not mandatory as I have said. But if you want uh, to upload anything about this, so by clicking this, uh, as you are seeing it's showing error. So you are not mandatory to um, write anything in this part. Just uh, skip this part and uh, this is not mandatory. So I will reload and I will skip this part. So uh, student bank information, uh, it will be activated after you proceed your application. So in this part, this is not that much in duty. After that, my student scholarship. So in this part, uh, you can uh, create new scholarship uh, information. So you can uh, select uh, your new student scholarship like monthly early semester for once and then scholarship name uh, from there you have to write their scholarship if you got uh, any scholarship in past so you have to give information for, about that if you didn't so then skip you can skip this apart also but if you got any scholarship in past like uh, uh, before you got any country scholarship or in your country you got scholarship so you can select from there for one semester or for year or for months so you can select from there and then you can select scholarship name institution name and uh, status now you are uh, finished if you uh, continue if your status continues so just select continue then you have to write start date if you have uh, graduated from that and you have finished that scholarship so then you can do you don't select it and then you have uh, can write start date and end date and then you can give him description and just save it but if you didn't get scholarship so then leave this as you are seeing these um, these these are not mandatory but if, if you have certificate work experience or uh, voluntary activities you can give information but student bank this is also not uh, not that much in mandatory and if you got scholarship before so you can apply you can select if you didn't got it so just skip this also and after that your reference information like you are you can uh, give information about your reference from there about uh, recommendation letters uh, about um, uh, your reference uh, letters so by clicking this one reference type if is it academic personal manager business you can select it if you any kind of then you can uh, write the first name last name of your reference and uh, then his his or her email after this his or her telephone number and uh, then um, working institute if you got uh, from where you go for from which where you uh, you are reference working so you have to write that institute or, or that company or that business name after that profession you can select his teacher um, like carpenter advisor artist from which person you got this dentist or soldier researcher you can select from their their business title he is head or um, he is volunteer uh, like he is working there he is worker so you can select from there after that you have to give description and you have to upload your reference document from by clicking this option and uh, when you click on this option it will show like this i will show you uh, i don't want to show it uh, in a, in every part but uh, as i mentioned 
when you click on this option it will directly directly show you that uh, part that uh, how to upload uh, your uh, reference or your any kind of information from there very easily but the internet connection is a little bit slow today so it will take time but uh, you can uh, click on this and if your internet connection is uh, fast from me so then it will work for you guys very fastly and then upload your reference information uh, if you uh, as you are seeing it comes so you can uh, browse from there you can select your profile and then save it you can select your reference or any kind of document and then you can save it you can select uh, another reference information from there by clicking this as you have multiple entries there after the reference information when you done all these information and uh, when you submit it so there it will show your application in this video i just showed you guys as an example um, so this was not i i didn't fill any document because uh, uh, i don't want to as i showed you all parts that what you have to do and how you have to do when you uh, submit when you finished all these um, when you fill all these blanks so then it will show your application that uh, your action program scholarship program which will write application number will be written there application date that which date you have, you have finished and student confirmation you will uh, it will be there in application status is it uh, it will show the uh, result of every uh, step there so when you fill all these blanks by as i showed you guys in this video it will show and this ticket information is for the further when you got the scholarship so then uh, you will uh, get this uh, information but for now it's not important and uh, when you come to main menu after uh, if you when you want to select uh, the active uh, so you can select from there so as you are seeing uh, you can uh, apply for any of them if you want to apply for theology you can uh, select this option uh, if you want to apply for high school so select this one and uh, when you select on this one um, for example when you select on this one so then you can uh, so as you are seeing we didn't upload our information when you uh, when you done all these information so then it will show your you the universities and also all information uh, about your application the universities and your um, full information about that you can select university from there and then you can submit your application and you can uh, finish your application from there so this will be the last step when you got uh, when you finish all these uh, uh, when you upload all these information and certificates so if you are applying for high school select this one and if you are applying for um, bachelor or undergraduate program so just select uh, apply this one and then you can proceed so guys this was today's video hopefully you guys get information from these videos if you got information so please like this video and also share it with your friends and if you are new on my channel subscribe the channel press the bell icon to get notification of all my videos you can follow my instagram my profile link is in the description and my username is shamsamdard1 and um, see you in another video have a good time and goodbye